All right, let's go over to crew. All right, we caught the um, play the last video at daytradingthefutures.com. We go over how to trade the longer time frame on J Signal. It caught some beautiful moves already this morning. We did some live. Uh, you saw it happen live this morning off the long time frame. You can play that at www.daytradingthefutures.com. Click methodology. Click videos. You can replay that. What happened this morning on the long time frame. When you trade the shorter time frame, the three sim right here, I only want you to trade the inception points uh, when the market is just breaking through market profile. So if you're trading J signal in any market and you're trading off the three sim, I trade off the five sim, which I just did a video on this last video. Play that. It's right before this video is going to get posted. Play that video and then you can play this video. This talks about the shallow retracement indicator on J signal. J signal, the best time to look for the trade is when you first break through LVA. You can see we broke, first broke through LVA here, got the first retracement, J signal got the short. You first broke back inside of LVA, first retracement got the long. There's only two waves to J signal. There's called a motive wave and a corrective wave. So there's only one setup to learn. If you look at all those videos at daytradingthefutures.com on J signal, there's just one setup. It's called the number three trade. One setup to learn. That's it. It's a continuation trade. That's all you got to learn. One setup. That's a break of LVA, retest. Once it breaks through LVA, you get back in, you're allowed to get back inside of LVA as long as you don't break that big, thick black line. Look for the J signal short. That's called a motive wave because five-minute trend was down. Now, once you get back inside of LVA, let's say the five-minute trend is down, you get back inside of LVA, the market gets strong, and that's called a corrective wave. You look for the first retracement retracement long, my fib dots pop exactly at the low. Look for a pulling bar or J signal long. And there's your long side setup. So those are the two most important inflection points if you're trading the three sim Renko, my shallow retracement Renko bar type. If you're trading the five sim, you're more of a long-term retracement indicator. You're not going to get a lot of setups. We had five since midnight last night. It caught the big one on the last video if you want to look at it. It caught the one for 250 ticks yesterday. 150 ticks down, 100 on the way back up, my 5 Simrenko. My 3 Simrenko is more shorter term. It catches shallow retracements. You can only trade the 3 Simrenko in any market if you're just violating LVA or just getting back inside of LVA or just getting outside of HVA or just getting back inside of HVA. You're not allowed to trade that any other time off J-Signal. Okay, so we caught the big inflection point here, caught the exact move down, caught the exact move up. Let me go to the black charts before I turn this off. Let me, let me show you the, the black charts real quick. Black charts are very simple. There's only two patterns we trade off the black charts. We trade a number. Now, we only trade two trades off the black charts. We trade one trade off J-Signal. We trade two trades off the black charts. We trade the number three off the black charts just like we do J-Signal. If the market's in a downtrend, we let LVA break, which are the green plus signs. Let it retest within two or three ticks. Look for a pull-in bar. We go short. A number one is where you sell the first test of HVA high value area, the red dots. The king called the exact high. I look for V tops or V bottoms off of number one trades. Number one say this, if the market's in a downtrend, sell the first test of red plus signs when it comes within two or three ticks. Look for a pulling bar on my three sim Rinko to pull yourself in when it closes below the doji or spinning top. So that called the exact high. Then we come down to LVA. If you're in a moving averages or in a downtrend, you do not buy LVA in a downtrend. That's for novice traders that don't understand market profile. You let LVA break. You let it retest. We're going to look for this exact inflection point on the retest within two or three ticks. Let it close below the doji or spinning top that forms on the three sim Rico and get short. So my, my black charts are very simple. If the moving averages are down, you sell the first test of HVA and let LVA break and sell the first retest. If the market was in an uptrend, I'd buy the first test of LVA and let HVA break in the first retest of HVA. So there's only two setups I look for on the black charts, number one and a number three. A number three is a deep retracement to red and downtrends, or a deep retracement to green on the first test and uptrends, or a break in downtrends of LVA, retest of LVA for continu uh, a continuation. So the black charts are very, very simple. They're very accurate. You trade off these two black charts off the red and green off the first test the first test is key off those areas and the first test or retest off j signal it's even more simpler 
You don't even need to trade the black charts if you don't want to. It's just a matter of breaking LVA off your own ninja charts, retest, and doing J signal short. Break inside of LVA, retest, doing J signal long. And that's it. Off market profile. And that's it. Okay, Gerald, go and shut that off. All right, guys and gals, I'll have a ninja webinar tonight at 4:15. I hope I didn't make some of you head spin. Some of you guys and gals are new in the room today. There's new members, or if you are a new trial, being here around 8:20 tomorrow, I'm gonna go over some um, the trade before it happens on on gold. We're gonna try to catch the inflection point. We'll go over crude. I won't be going in more great detail tomorrow. So uh, since I went in great detail every Wednesday. I go in great detail how to trade the system since you trade this on your own ninja charts on all markets. I go in great, great detail. So I really like going in great detail every Wednesday at 8.15. If you really want edu educated how to trade JSignal on the black charts, there's only one trade to learn on JSignal off the ninja, only two off the black charts. You've seen live today how they work. My, my JSignal nailed it. It absolutely was gorgeous. It was perfect. So that will teach you how to do it. So every Wednesday, I'm in great, great detail, and I'll make sure that we understand how to do this uh, in the market. All right, tonight, I'll be on at 4.15. If you guys want to attend, uh, Jiro has a link for you to get in. I'm going to go to the basics on how this works again, and uh, tomorrow, we'll catch, you'll catch me at 8.15. The process on how to do this, uh, Mondays and Tuesdays are traders' days. I'm not in the room. I let traders chat back and forth about upcoming setups. The traders in the room know that they they have to focus on the number ones and uh, the number threes on J signal. They'll 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 they can talk about number threes on J signal. Chat as much as you want about the number threes on J signal. Okay, off the black charts, they chat about the number ones and number threes. Okay, so chat 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 the chat room up. Go ahead and blow it up about the on well, Mondays and Tuesday traders days, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I'm in the room. Wednesdays, I'm in great detail how to trade the system. I'm very repetitive. To me, everything's about muscle memory and about the setup. If you don't know how to trade the setup, you don't know what you're doing. It's a very simple setup that can be learned. Your, your, the, the, uh, um, the learning curve, since I eliminated my number two trade, a lot of traders are really picking this up immediately and doing very, very, very well with JSignal as soon as they get it. All right? As, if you want to just do room access without JSignal, room access, Room access without J signal, you can just trade off the black charts by themselves. We have that without J signal. But if you do have J signal, you must have room access and J signal by itself. So it's both room and also J signal. Okay. All right. So I'll see you guys tonight at 4:15. Visit our our website daytradingthefutures.com. Play the videos. It tells you exactly how to do this. And I'll be in here tomorrow, and we'll do the same thing. All right. You guys have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tonight at 4.15. Those videos, and I'll go over it again tomorrow. Once we get into a chop day, I'll show you how to trade chop. It's very easy. A chop day, in fact, the last, last week I went over a chop video. Go over last week's videos on daytradingthefutures.com under videos, and then you'll see how I trade a chop day. We, uh, we had a symmetrical wedge breakout. There's symmetrical wedge days, and once you see that, you'll see how to trade that. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you tonight at 515. Take care now.